Hi guys, in this video, we're going to see how to work with dates in Power BI Desktop. But before, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so you can never miss any video by Code Gems. In this video, we'll be working on different aspects of dates, how and what are the possibilities to play with the dates in Power BI Desktop. Date, as you know, is the most important part of the business analytics in our scenario. A sales agent has the target and requires to achieve the target in a given span of time. Sales agents mostly have around 30 days to meet the target. So here with the help of Power BI, we'll analyze the data month-wise, quarterly, yearly, and so on. So let's jump in right away. I will import the data first and go to Excel with my data set, clothes, sales. You can see over here we have table one and this, this one is sales. This is my data. So here I will select sales. I will not select load because I want to transform the data so we can work on the date field or date column. So you can see over here the data has been fetched into the Power Query editor. Now what I'll do, I'll duplicate the query right now because my I do not want to hurt my original data so I will duplicate it and I will work on uh, this sales to query I will hit the refresh if it is saying for the refresh now you can see over here we have date right now and uh, I want to work on the date column so I will what I'll do I will remove the other columns to get the date column here you go now in order to make the changes on this column we have uh, two options or you can say two tabs number one is add columns from where we can uh, update and uh, do the stuff on this column and number second is transform you can see over here there these are the options in the transform tab and before going into the further detailed video or, or you can say further detailed demonstration of the dates I would like to tell you about the, what is the difference between the add column and the transform tab right now over here in the transform column changes will be applied to this very column to the, to the same column and for the add columns here the changes will automatically apply on the selected column and after that the new column will be added with the latest changes so this so this is the main difference between the add and transform column now second thing is you can see over here the data type of the date is date for example if it was not a date it will it was like it was a text so what I'll do this is the date this is the column and if I go to the add column and then the date option or date uh, you can say what is format date values or is extract element of the date values for the date option you can see over here we can only have parse option available and other options are uh, you can say fade out so let's see when I click on parse what happens you can see over here we have a new column with the exact and you can say with the correct data type of this column so from here I will change the data type of the date to date and remove this column here you go now we'll see what kind of other options are available now because the date has been set with the date type we have age, date only, year, month, quarterly, week, and day. So we'll check with yearly. If we click over here and select year, so you can see over here this columns, this card, this one, this column provide me the year of these dates. Like if uh, uh, these dates are all of from the from 2021 so it is telling it this column is telling me that this date column contains all 2021 year so we can demonstrate we can 
uh, split the column we can have the new column with the year as well now if uh, I remove this one or we can, you can say we can select the date and if I do with the month so you can see over here what month this date has been telling you so it is giving you the date right now if I go over here and click the date and if I start of the month so you can see you can see over here the start of the month column has been created so this is the sales date and this is the start of the month from where the month is starting for the sales so we have number of uh, options other options as well like we have end of the month days in the month name of the month if I click over you can see we have the names of the month are here we can uh, check the check the date or you can say we can check the sales date with uh, the name of the month of name of the month as well so I can I will remove all of the columns now we'll see what are the other options as well we have uh, quarterly quarter of the year week and uh, day as well so quarter of the year so we have the data according to the quarter this one from here it is uh, giving me the quarter number one and so on two three four so in this way we can uh, uh, what you can see we can filter the data according to the quarter now we go back and see what happens when we have week week of the year week of the month so here you can see for example this is 15th of January it is telling me that this is the week number three of January select one and then I will select day telling me the day over here the 15th day and if I select this one and go to the day and the name of the day so it's telling the name of the day the sales has been uh, acquired so as you can see this is same as uh, we uh, did in or we do in the Excel sheets so we do we do uh, in Excel sheets with the formula but in the Power BI we did we do with the with the power query and the different options available so in power bi it is giving you a calculated column with the year mention with the date with, with the date name with the week so there are a number of uh, options available over here and same happens in the transform tab as well if we go over here click the date and uh, if we go towards the date in time column so you have this options available as well so thank you very much for watching this short tutorial and uh, i will definitely be uh, waiting for your questions and looking forward for you for you people to ask questions in the comment box hit like and subscribe my channel code gems and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you, so you can never miss any video from code gem so thank you very much and bye for now